Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. All of these numbers have the form 4k plus 3. So, for example, if we consider the number 11,111, well, we can find some integer k such that 11,111 is equal to 4k plus 3. And that's the idea. Now, all of these numbers can be written in the following way. They can all be written in the form sum from i equals 0 to n of 10 to the power of i for some integer n greater than or equal to 1. So we're going to take this for granted. So what this means is, for example, 11 is equal to 1 plus 10, 111 is equal to 1 plus 10 plus 100, 1111 can be written as 1 plus 10 plus 100 plus 1000, and so on and so forth. So to prove the theorem, we're actually going to prove, for all integers n greater than or equal to 1, the sum from i equals 0 to n of 10 to the power of i can be written in the form 4k plus 3. And to prove that, we're going to use mathematical induction. Okay, so let's start with the base case. Now in the base case, we're trying to show that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So really, we're trying to show that the sum from i equals 0 to 1 of 10 to the power of i has the form 4k plus 3. Well, if we write out sum from i equals 0 to 1 of 10 to the power of i, well, we know that this is just going to be equal to 10 to the power of 0 plus 10 to the power of 1. And that's really just equal to 1 plus 10. And that's just equal to 11. And 11 is equal to 4 times 2 plus 3. So as you can see, the sum from i equals 0 to 1 of 10 to the power of i has the form 4k plus 3. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary integer n greater than or equal to 1, and we assume that this is true. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. That is, we want to show that the sum from i equals 0 to n plus 1 of 10 to the power of i has the form 4k plus 3. Now, since we know that this guy has the form 4k plus 3, this means that this guy is equal to 4k plus 3 for some integer k. Now, remember, we want to show that the sum from i equals 0 to n plus 1 of 10 to the power of i also has the form 4k plus 3. So let me write out sum from i equals 0 to n plus 1 of 10 to the power of i. Now, we can take the n plus 1 term of this sum and pull it away. So we can rewrite this as the sum from i equals 0 to n of 10 to the power of i plus 10 to the power of n plus 1. And we know that this guy is equal to 4k plus 3. And then we can re-express 10 to the power of n plus 1 as 100 times 10 to the power of n minus 1. And now let's take the first and last term and factor out the 4. If we do that, then in the parentheses, we're going to have k plus 25 times 10 to the power of n minus 1. And then we just have a plus 3 on the outside. So this guy is equal to this. So what we've shown here is that the sum from i equals 0 to n plus 1 of 10 to the power of i has the form 4k plus 3. In other words, we've shown that there exists an integer such that sum from i equals 0 to n plus 1 of 10 to the power of i is equal to 4 times that integer plus 3. So this completes the induction step. And because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this means we have shown by mathematical induction that this statement is true. And because we've proven this statement,
This means we have shown that all of these integers have the form 4k plus 3. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.